goes on and sells arms and, 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 and guns that his dad makes and, and buys, and they flip them for more money. And uh, he becomes kind of a better salesman than his dad is, literally. And he sort of uh, falls in and somewhat starts to find family and even a, a maybe stronger father figure uh, on the streets. Um, and he finds his place and he starts uh, dealing drugs as well and becomes pretty successful at it. Uh, around that time, the FBI comes to him and says, we want you to be an informant, which he says, no way. And he goes, oh yes, you will, because we've traced bodies back to guns that your dad made, and if you don't, he'll go down. So the, the young man was put in a quite, a, quite a pinch of a scenario. He picked up the moniker White Boy Rick, and that fit the meter, and it was a, it was a, it was a novelty story when he got busted. Being, one, being the only white boy in this all black community selling and he had, he had the bumper sticker and he had the title, White Boy Rick. And um, you know, he was, from, from my research, he was made out to be much more of a dangerous Scarface kingpin than actually he might have really been. Um, and so when he's, when he's, when he's busted, obviously he's, his, uh, his, him and his dad go to the FBI and say, look, we were giving you information. You know, you can help us out. And, you know, I wasn't there on how that negotiation went down, but what, what, was, what was said and what was promised isn't exactly what, what happened. And Rick went down at the same time they had just passed that 600 gram law in, in the state of Michigan, so he went down for life. He's funny, he's got a great sense of humor and a great heart, um, and he's going to engage with a lot of this fun. And so I hope it, it's gonna be fun for him, but also I hope he can find himself through this because his life's about to do a 180. You got a great drama that's based in truth. You got the bones for a great drama. But it's also, this thing's got some pop, man. It's got some urban, progressive, rel uh, authentic relativity to right now, our times. And, you know, when I say it's about single parent homes and about family and about guns and, 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 and about, you know, incarcerations and, and, and someone doing more time than maybe they should, and even about someone getting out because we're gonna make a movie about it. all these things that are relative and say a lot about our system and our and American life, poverty or not. Um, all those things are there to create, to, to have the bones for a great drama.